Hey guys, Rob Stellini here. Uh, it's 8.05 and I am re-recording the tutorial because I forgot to switch the sound button on. Um, so this is a second shot at my um, one channel um, YouTube layout. So the best way to start, uh, I faffed around in the last tutorial actually a bit, so um, I'm kind of glad. Um, it's the new YouTube layout. It works on all devices, all sizes. That's it working at lower and then it gets bigger and it still looks bollocks but um, you guys are going to have to adapt to it it's the way YouTube works they don't listen to people so let's go let's not muck around um, if you want to get your channel working on it if you go to my channel um, and you'll click or anybody using the new layout and go to this channel is, now, is using the new YouTube one channel learn more about the new design so it takes you to youtube.com forward slash one channel um, you can read their propaganda bollocks if you want if not just go back to click um go to the new one. You can stay on the old one, but I imagine they're going to phase it out. Um, so once you do that, if you click on boop, uh, it will take you to um, your new channel. It will talk you through a whole load of stuff. You can read it if you want. don't really need to. You can check the sort of set channel, uh, set channel um, checklist here. Um, and the way you add artwork, it will say add artwork, but you click Bosch, edit channel artwork, and um, you stick a thing in. So um, very handily They've got a tutorial on how to make um, the channel art guidelines, but because um, they don't care about UK English, it's not in my language, um, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, because I have made a template. Uh, that's the Yaosh one. Uh, a couple of things need changing on them. I got a few of the names wrong. Um, but this is the template that you will be seeing. You'll be used to this. Um, let's close that. This is the new template, uh, so I'm just going to sort of talk you through it. Um, as always, it's got my social icons in the top. Um, just drag them in where you need them, so if you want Twitter. But remember that none of it's clickable anymore, so if you're going to put Twitter in, you're going to have to put a Twitter handle in, so at Rob Stellini. I'm probably still going to like put some text links in if you're allowed. I don't know if you are, um, but we'll, we'll look into that. Um, the second thing to notice is that... Um, there's an avatar no go zone. I'm going to rename that thing there, but um, this will be in modules. Um, so basically, this is where your avatar will sit. So if you look at my channel, um, you can see my jog on. My avatar sits quite neatly in the top left. Um, if you've got a transparent one, it sits with a white background. Uh, you might want to think rethink that if you're um, if you've got a different coloured background here, a transparent one's now not necessarily the best idea. Um, and if you look at Yaosh graphics, this is something I have to redo. It looks great like this. Uh, I've done all of the Yaosh ones, but the problem is when you're Bosch, it doesn't really work as well. Um, so you're kind of restricted in the size. If you really want to please all parties, you're going to have to design in this area here. Um, so let's just talk you through the various different bits. Um, it's pretty easily labelled. Um, if you turn them both off, you can see I've still left the grid lines in. The main section is um, this one here. This is your central section that you see on every device. It's the sort of striped area. Um, either side of it is if you've got a bigger screen, like um, no, I always click the wrong one. Uh, like on Yash graphics, you can see it scales out. Um, bit by bit, um, that's this area here, and then the whole area is the TV. Uh, but I don't know if anybody who uses YouTube on a TV, I think they're just being optimistic there. Um, so yeah, cool story, bro. Um, modules basically just to show it again the avatar no go zone is here if you really want to do it, and then obviously, as it scales, it'll come out here. Uh, this is just a guess, guess line, it's not 100% accurate. The rest of the thing is. Um, and then obviously it's just got my background but the way you're going to want to use it is you're going to chuck a, a new layer on top of everything um, put, I don't know, black background and we're going to put uh, Rob Sterlini that's my name wrong Rob Sterlini oh dear YouTube, uh, Photoshop has died let's try again Rob Sterlini YouTube is shit now. Not YouTube, but the YouTube layout. Um, so here we go. 
that's what we're doing. And then um, you can sort of style around. Um, I like to have this idea of having uh, a cutout. In fact, I will put this in the template. Is um, a cutout of. Uh, let's get this unlocked, duplicated, and then relock the bottom one. And what we're going to do is I'm going to find this module, desktop min, and we're going to take the cut out there. Um, so basically, if you if you want to have this on top of all layers at all times, um, create smart object. Oh no, I want the other way around. I? Create smart object. Rasterize. Um, template checker all devices and then we'll create one for um, uh, all full width devices so I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm sort of thinking on my feet here as I would want stuff to look um, so again rasterize that layer template checker wide devices so basically if you've done this design here um, you can check very quickly what will show up on um, all devices by just having that one enabled and then wide devices by having that one enabled so let's lock these layers lock lock and then put them in a group template checker now I think if I lock that you can also still just yeah so those are nice easy ways of just checking how your design works um, so this is how it looks on everything this is how it looks on that and then that's how it looks on that job done um, and let's just for ease make the template layers blue oh cool apparently you can't multiply do it blue blue and blue and the good thing is you can have them all um, showing even behind your main layer so that's where you're going to want to do your project there's a bubble in between the two layers here um, in fact let's I like good project so project goes here and we're going to make that one red so uh, all of your two, all of your stuff goes in the project goes here stuff um, and that's that's pretty much it guys um, the only other thing I'm going to do is how to save it so on a Mac you can hit command shift command alt and s or if you're not all oh, door or, or if you're not so hotkey savvy go to file save for web and devices uh, make sure you've got it set on PNG 24 um, and then save this as tutorial bollocks you can see I've just saved the last one as YouTube is shit dot PNG um, and then you're going to want to head over to your channel click the channel art button edit channel art um, and then drag the photo in there it will give you the option to crop it but because you built it exactly the right size you don't need to um, and then we're going to hit select and it's going to pop up there you, are. there you go so again there's another area at the bottom here where you don't really want to why is it just showing my google plus that's no good we're going to have to change that because I don't like google plus google plus is fucking bollocks anyway so um, I'm going to just put my old one back up um, my old one back up <laughs> that's funny um, no, no I don't want that edit channel art Oh no, no, no. Oh, so you can go back to old background designs. I suppose that's all right. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much that. Thanks to Hoopla for telling me how to get my channel actually onto the new design. Um, I'm sure you'll see lots of them from me. I've got the Yaosh ones recorded. Uh, the link will be in the description for the download. I'm assuming it's the same for non partners, but I will amend this tutorial if it's not. Um, nearly at 12,000 subscribers that'd be amazing if we could hit that and make sure you share this video around so people can adapt their channel I'll do 
uh, a detailed um, one channel analysis so basically looking at how the channels change and stuff um, soonish but um, it's a 10 minute tutorial peace I didn't just say that see you later guys